how do you how have you developed the skill to still listen and to step forward because there are a lot of people who will be like yeah it's ain't it and they'll just pull back or they'll run away or they'll feel scared but you'd be like no i've gone all in in those moments when i don't feel like i'm up to it i i go in and I got molds and shapes which is absolutely amazing but you still need to take the initial step which is what pe- most people don't do so how is it what was it that's helped you still take that step in those moments in those times I think one of the things that you've got to do is have a very honest and real circle around you. So, of people, that is. So, for me, I'm. If an opportunity comes, you know, my wife is definitely the first port of call. I'm just like, what do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think God's saying this an opportunity has come here. What do you think? So, if we take Power to Fight, for example, when I said to her, Oh, I think I'm going to launch this charity. Her first response was, I'm with you because I can definitely see you doing this. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I also need I also need to know that you're prepared to work in Tesco's if this goes all passionate, right? <laughs> We've got three children. And, and, I, and I'm like, yeah, I am. But I'm, I think I can pull this off. It's going to require a lot of faith, but I think we can do it. So, and there's other times when there's the other decisions. I can think of some recently where I, I've, I've got a circle of friends around me and I was like, oh, I'm think, what do you think about this? And they gave me really honest feedback and they were like, oh, well, if you go down this route, um, this could happen. If you go down that route, there's a positive thing. You know, they gave me their honest opinion and in the end, I decided not to do this particular thing, but it was because I had really good counsel around me, you know? And so I think, you know what annoys me is when people use the term self-made. <laughs> I just think it's the it's the biggest load of rubbish because nobody's self made. No. Nobody, everybody had somebody who believed in them. Everybody was the person. Some if it's if it's a money thing, somebody gave you a loan. Somebody gave you an opportunity, or somebody gave you some advice. All the most successful people I know in 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 the world, or the people I know around me, have got an incredible team around them. So this self-made thing, I just think you're not self-made. Don't lie, because nobody can just be as like the top of their game and made it on their own. It's it's it, it really frustrates me because we're telling our, ch- our young people a lie. Yeah, man, self-made. I'm a self-made millionaire. You know what? No what? Nobody is <laughs> lying. So circle around you is so important. And one thing I'll quickly say is one thing I learned early in church leadership actually is to mask your weaknesses. And what I mean by that is if we're, if there's weaknesses in your in your armour, if there's something which you're not very good at in terms of organisationally, bring somebody in who is an expert in that area and that will help you. So there's areas of my organisation where I'm, I'm strong at and there's others I'm not and I will bring in experts and pay the, their salary <laughs> so they can do that job, which I don't have to worry about. These people who try to do all things and be all things to all people, they, they struggle. Know your weaknesses. I know mine very well. So, did you, you, know. did you learn that lesson the easy way or the hard way? Uh, <laughs> definitely the well, definitely a hard way. So I, I, I remember back in um, when was it? Um, Two thousand and four, and I tried. I thought I was puffy. No, I shouldn't say puffy now. Though, should I? I thought I was. I thought I was another. I thought I was another record uh, label. Another, another mogul. <laughs> another mogul. I can't say. I can't say his name <laughs> anymore. Definitely not him. But I was another mogul. I thought I was another. I thought I was a record mogul, and um, yeah. But I had no idea how to run a record label, and I had no idea about taxes, and I had no idea. I just put everything on a credit card. And my idea was like, yeah, when we, when we get signed and when we sign that person, we sign that label and we make that deal, I'll just pay it back. And it never happened. <laughs> so I was like, oh, wow, now I'm in debt. Um, and it's because accountancy and, and tax and that type of stuff is, is never, like maths, like English is my thing, maths isn't. It's, it's kind of, it's never has been. So I there's definitely been a moment where I've realised do you know what? If I'm going to succeed, so when Power the Fight came now, <laughs> the first thing I did was my chair of trustees is an accountant. That's the first thing I did. I said, bro, I need you to be an accountant. Um, I need you to be my chair of trustees because you are an accountant. Um, 
And that is my biggest weakness in terms of I just don't understand how that stuff works. And that's part of the reason why we're successful because the bits I'm not good at. So I've learned, I've learned the hard way. And I've also learned by, um, it's not always about the hard way. Sometimes you just observe other people's mistakes. That's the better way of doing it. Yes, that's, that's <laughs> wisdom. That is wisdom. <laughs> there's, a, there's a quote from John Maxwell, I think he said like, smart people learn from the mistakes of other people who've gone before them. And it, Murray's always stayed with me. It's like, actually, that's why I've been like speaking to people who are like, older, people who are just far, way further along than you are. You can just tap into that knowledge so you don't have to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again and, and learn some of the difficult things. Mm-hmm.